everybody, it's Kristen and I have a Throwback Thursday for you. If this is your first time to a Throwback Thursday, welcome. This is a video in which I go back, and everybody kind of does it differently, those of us that do these videos. I go back two years, look at what my favorites were, and come to you guys and talk about them. See if I'm still using them. If I'm not, what am I using in place of them? That sort of thing. And this was an idea that was started by Marty from Ms. Gold Girl, and I just think it's one of the most fun um, video ideas out there. So I thank her again for this idea. She invited the rest of us to join her and do it. So all right. So it, it, it's always interesting to go back and watch those videos. I don't know what kind of pearly business I was wearing in my hair. I, I don't know, but <laughs> I'll link that below for you in case you want to check it out. And I do have a Throwback Thursday playlist as well if you want to see those too. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I talked about um, was is definitely still a favorite. Although I have learned since then how to say this, I believe anyway. Luxitan, I believe is how you say this brand and this is the shower oil I love this I can't tell you how many times I've repurchased this since then that was the first time that I had sort of fallen in love with this product um, I love this I use this for shaving my legs in case this is the first time you've ever heard me talk about it or anybody uh, you can use it to actually like shower with I'm sure as like a cleansing oil but I find it just delightful to shave my legs with so that's what I use that for and I still love it, still use it. The next thing on there was the Suave, Mor Suave? Suave Moroccan St Argan Styling Oil. And I was using that up, like that was something I had put in a use up plan for myself. And um, I did like it. I liked it more than I thought, which is why I talked about it. I still went back and prefer the macadamia nut oil. This one is actually. There's not much left in this baby. Um, this is one I go back to over and over again. I do have a few in my collection that I need to work through, but by far this is my favorite. And I'll talk a little bit more about this. I am going to do that video where I, I talk about how to get kind of a second day hair. A lot of people are interested in that. I'll talk a little bit more about this and that. <laughs> this in that video, but it, I, I put this from kind of mid shaft down through my ends and it just it has done such wonderful things for me since I started using it. So. The next thing that I talked about was the bur I have, by the way, I have a list printed out here before me. In case you're wondering what I keep looking at right there. Um, I have, it was the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Night Cream. I think it was something with Clary Sage, if I remember right. And I, I liked that, I, obviously, because I talked about it, but I didn't like it enough to repurchase it. Um, I, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm in the process of using up some moisturizers that I kind of have in my collection, but my favorite by far um, during the summer is the Camp Cosmetics Illum. And this is, they kind of have three. They have Elixir, Illum, and then um, Untouched by Time, I believe, is the one that's, is that right? I think so. Um, the, re the even more moisturizing one. And that one is perfect for me for winter, and I use the Illum in the summer. Alrighty then. Let's move on to, it looks like I had a couple of concealers that I talked about. One I totally forgotten about this. This was, it's kind of little, and so it was kind of tucked away in my collection. So I've had this for two years, which means that as soon as I'm done with the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is on my list right now, I'm down to here in that. When I'm done with that, I will switch over and start using this one up because it's been around a long time. I used it today though, and I forgot how much I really like this. This is the um, Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Eye Cream. I'm not sure if this is still available or not, but it kind of has this rubbery tip, which I don't appreciate very much, but I just put it on there and then I blend it out with a brush. So I forgot, I just forgot. So it's not that it's not a favorite anymore, but I completely forgot about this product. It just kind of got tucked away in my video, or in my video. It got tucked away in my drawer and I don't know that I've used it. I don't even know when the last time I used it, quite frankly. All right, the next thing was the CoverGirl Deep Puffer. And this was had just come out, and I ended up not loving that product as much as I thought. And really prefer, I, I still say that my hands down, if I had to pick a holy grail right now, um, under eye concealer, it would be the MAC Pro Longwear. Uh, but that the puffer, I really liked it at first, and then it kind of like turned on me. <laughs> and it just, I, I kind of, I think that was when actually I gave up. I didn't work through, I gave up on it. All right, this one is still a favorite. I just mentioned this, I feel like not too long ago. I almost always have one of these in my collection and this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Primer. This is just a really great primer. Like there's no, it, and I, I think I said that even in the video and when I've talked about it in the past, this just primes your skin. It doesn't illuminate your skin. It doesn't mattify your skin. It just 
primes your skin, makes your foundation last longer. It doesn't claim to do anything other than that, and it does has, have SPF 15 in it. So I do still like this. Clearly, I always have one in my collection and, you know, frequently go back to it. All right, this is funny. The two bronzers that I talked about this month are the two bronzers that I currently have in my Use It Up. One of them um, I am doing really well, and one of them I haven't touched because I've been focusing on this one. So the first one I talked about is the one that I've kind of put to the side right now, and that's the Mary Kay bronzer. And this had been sent to me by Influencer. And this is the one, I believe it's in light medium. Let me just pull it out of here. It's not say, but it just looks like this. This is a really pretty sort of glow, and I've used a good chunk of this. I'm not sure if you guys can see how much you can, the, the pan is sort of showing there. But um, I it just has a really pretty glow without being glowy. Like, I, I don't know, I, re I really like this. I, I know that it has shown up in my favorites a couple of times, but it was just one that I thought I had made a decent dent in, which is why I chose it to use up. But like I said, I've put that to the side right now because I've gone back to this. And I really wish Mac would bring this out. Again. The um, Aphrodite Shell. And it was part of the... Look at how I'm doing, you guys. I don't think I had any pan the last time I did an update. So this is part of the some sort of collection. I don't even remember. This one with the water droplets. I remember everybody was all over the water droplets. And this had just come out two years ago. And I... I just fell in love with it then and I have re-fallen in love with it. I, I talked about I think in a favorites a couple of months ago because for lighter skin, it just, because it kind of has that pinky sort of mauviness to it, it's just the perfect bronzer shade and I really love it. I love the formulation. It blends into the skin. I talked about in that video that I was using it with the Sephora 55 brush, which I am not anymore. I'm using it and I'm just in love with this brush. You can see that I've been using it. This is the Tom Ford bronzer brush. You can certainly use the Sephora 55 brush if you like. This just works well and works quickly. That That's one of the reasons, but it just blends things so well. Um, but anyway, so if you have this bronzer in your collection, dig it out because A, it's two years old and B, it's wonderful. <laughs> so there you go. The other bronzer product I was talking about are bronzer bro whatever, blush, bronzer thing, was Benefit Dallas. And I had talked about how I was deepening up kind of the back of my contour here with with that product. It was a tip I had gotten from Sarah from Print Palace Shine. And I am no longer doing that. I actually decluttered um, Dallas, and I don't have it anymore. I kind of regret that a little bit, but I have enough products like that. But it is the same sort of shade as that Aphrodite shell, but... Um, it's a little bit deeper, so it's the same sort of kind of has that mauve to it, but it's just a little bit deeper, and I don't know, just added a little something. So I, I don't do that anymore. I no longer, it's, I, it isn't that I didn't love the shade Dallas. I just, I did a little blush declutter a while back. The next product has been in and out of my favorite several times. I do really enjoy this, and that's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I think that's what this is called. Yes, the Ambient Lighting Palette. And I've used this in a bunch of different ways, and I, I've used kind of the darker shade as a bronzer with a highlight and the other one all over my face, and I really do like this. My favorite shade out of this is the Dim Light, and I have that in a single version they're as just well. just really nice to use, and they're, they're fun, and it's, you know, I don't use them all the time, but I am really so glad to have them in my collection, and nothing has replaced those products really in my collection. I have to tell you, I love it when I look at these, as, at these lists and find products that I've talked about multiple times. It just... Just goes to show you that I really, when I have something that's a favorite, it really is a favorite. Um, so this is the Laura Mercier Baked Highlight. I think it's called Baked Matte Highlight in 01. It's just, again, you won't be able to see when I put it on my skin so much. But this, I've had this in my favorites so many times, and I, I forgot to wear it today. My apologies. I'm wearing the Clio highlighter that I can't stop with. But I just, I, it's just... If you have mature skin that you're concerned about, you know, you want to put a, you want to use a highlight, but you're concerned about your pores showing or something like that, this is just the perfect everyday, not in your face, add a little highlight, highlight. So that that is what that is. I have that one in a little small size as well that I, I travel with. Okay, well, let's move on to eyeshadows. And I am wearing this today, and it just makes me so sad. This is the Bare Minerals High Shine in Meteorite. There are eight shades of these that I happen to have, and they were discontinued. They were discontinuing them right around the time that I was talking about it. And I just think, it's just sad. They were so nice. Now, the, the mechanism wasn't the best. I bet you could find these on Amazon, by the way. If I can find anything, I'll, or like a page that has a bunch of them listed, I'll put it below. But So it looks like that when you pop it open, it has a little sponge tip applicator. These just, 
I don't know. They just had such a nice sheen to them. Had They have such a nice sheen to them. So this is what that one looks like. It's a taupe, which is what I have on my eyes today. But it has a little kind of, leans a little bit towards the lavender. Um, you know how some taupes lean more beige and some lean with a little more purple or lavender in them. Thinking to yourself, Kristen, that looks just like wet and wild nutty. It does not. <laughs> Today, when I, was, when I was trying to find kind of a dupe for this to sh show you guys, I was hoping I could locate a dupe. That is Wet n Wild Nutty, and that is, that's, the, and you guys know that Wet n Wild Nutty seems to have a, sh a really nice sheen to it. I mean, look at that. Just pretty, they hit such pretty shades, so it is still a favorite. I tend to not wear those. I tend to not wear things, particularly in videos, that you can't get anymore. Um... I don't know. I just don't. A lot of us YouTubers, I, kind of, I think, kind of feel that way that we don't want to do that. But at any rate, they are something. If you can still get your hands on them or find them, they're so nice. And I bet you would get a good deal on them if you could find them. But I really, I really like them. They apply them. easily. I kind of apply them to the lid with a sponge tip and then blend it out with like a MAC 239 or something like that. They just, they're really, they're really nice. All right, I'll stop now. Um, you know, what's funny is that I had, I have on here MAC eyeshadows. And I think that I had just done a tag that Sani had done and it was like your your ultimate MAC 15 pan palette and it kind of got had gotten me back into my MAC eyeshadows. I do re still really like MAC eyeshadows. I, I go back to them frequently. Some of them I use every single day. I'm grabbing here for my this is the palette. You guys have seen me talk about this a bunch. I have this always sitting on my on my vanity and I have um, Blanc type, Wedge, Soft Brown, and then Quarry. And they're just perfect transition colors and highlight color. I, like I said, I use them every single day. I talked about the Jordana Espresso Last Eyeliner that you could get at like Walgreens, Kmart, depending on where you can find Jordana. And I do, I, I did really like that. I did not repurse it because I have brown eyeliners coming out my ears. So it was a great liner. I don't have it anymore. I haven't repurchased it since then. I had on there the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pens, which I thought they had gotten rid of, but I think they just repackaged, so I think they are still available. And I think here and there I've seen that kit that I talked about with the five shades in it. If I can find anything, I'll link it for you below, but I just have two left from that. The one in the sage gold, I think it is, and then the one in the sort of champagne color that I'm supposed to be using now. It's not my use it up list. And I do, I really like, I think the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pens are great. I, I think back then I really liked the black one for my upper tight line. But truly, I, I just feel like the nothing tops the Marc Jacobs in black are for me as far as color, longevity, you no know, transferring. This is just the best, the best the best of the best of what that of what of the black liners that I have, particularly for that upper tight line. I don't like the Marc Jacobs so much for my upper lash line, but anyway, uh, okay. The next one is kind of funny. So it's the Bite Beauty in Palomino. It's one of these double-ended sticks. So this tells me I've had this for two years. It doesn't really have any sort of a scent to it that it's gone bad or anything, but I'm fairly certain these do not last that long because of the FDA ingredients in them. So I stopped kind of using these because as I started getting lines in my lips, they started not looking so nice. They didn't last all day long like some other products. So that is Bite Palomino. Sorry, let me do this for you. Um, you would think that's what I'm wearing on my lips, but it's not because <laughs> it's just funny to me. Uh, that would be S.A. Lauder Tumultuous Pink. <laughs> Clearly I had a thing for those shades, or was starting to have a thing for this, this sort of shade. And and as we know from past reference, it's also like MAC Red Balloon. So, um, I don't wear that bite one anymore. It tells me I need to go through and probably declutter. I think I need to get rid of the majority of my bite lipsticks. Um, that I Because I think that's, I had bought them all around that time. Not the ones that I've gotten in Christmas kits, but... At any rate. I'm just fairly certain that the lifespan on a, on a bite lipstick isn't that long. So, because of the better products that they use. I had a couple of lip liners. Both of these are still in my collection. I've talked about this one quite a bunch. This is the NYX lip liner in natural. Um, I used to love this a little bit more than I do now. I feel like it has a little bit 
more brown to it than I and I prefer a little bit more sort of a pink or a mauve undertone when I'm looking for one to kind of just go with anything. So while I do still like that, I like something like the Too Faced Perfect Lips a little bit better. That's that one there. Just has a little bit more pink to it. That's that's a little bit more my preference. I do still like the NYX line and the NYX liners are great. I think they still have that formulation and they are really nice. The other lip liner that I talked about was um, from Rimmel and I, I love these their twist up kinds or their retractable kinds. This is the one in pure. It's a really good kind of go with your brighter shades and it's also really nice all over your lips. It's not too drying all over your lips with just a little bit of a gloss over the top. It's just a, I keep, I've broken the cap on here and I keep pushing it in there too far and breaking it more, but <laughs> I'll probably have to end up getting rid of this because it'll dry out if the cap's not tight. But anyway, that's, that's what that one looks like. Right, a couple of brushes that I talked about and I I will say I do still like this brush. This is the Bobbi Brown Powder Brush. I was using it for bronzer and that sort of thing back then, um, like for the Mary Kay bronzers. I think I talked about it. And I, I have talked to this to this brush to death. But what I was thinking about when I, when I looked at that list and pulled that out, I was like, you know what? The brush that I reach for for those sort of things now is my Goss Holiday Brush. I think they've renamed this to something else. I'll find it and list it below for you. Maybe it's the number... I don't remember, but, um, and they, ha I think they have it in white as well. I, I love this for the things, you know, if I'm using for bronzer, that sort of thing, if I want a little bit more precise than the, than my Tom Ford brush, I will use this one. It's a really, it's, so that is more my preference now than the Bobbi Brown powder brush. And lastly, and I think this is funny because I've been using this for the past month again, and I know this has come up in favorites several times. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, and you can see that it's, <laughs> I've been using it. I still really like this. This and I, and I watched what I what I said when I talked about it. It's very much a blend it. It blends it in. It's not the softest brush known to man, but you don't necessarily. I don't know how to. It's soft. It's not like it's prickly or anything, but it has a little more oomph to it. So it blend. It will blend in your concealer very well. I hope that that makes sense because I don't want to. I don't want to give a you know make you guys think that it's not soft. It's definitely very soft. And it works really well, but there's just there's a little more stiffness to it to help blend in versus just move around your concealer. And lastly, um, this is so funny. These these earrings were here, then they were gone, and now I have noticed that they are back on Express's. Well, they're on Express's website, but I think you can only get them in store. I'm not sure. But I'll list whatever I can find below. So if it is in store only, I'll list that. I think that's what I found the last time I wore them in a video and linked them. But so these are the triangle hoop earrings. And you guys have seen me wear them a bunch and heard me talk about them a bunch. I just love them because they're just something a little bit different of a hoop than just your normal hoop. And what I, I grabbed them both so that I could show you guys how they've worn. Now these are two years with a lot of wear. And they are starting to... I'm not sure if you can see. Just starting to kind of look a little bit worn on the gold ones. There's the other one. On the inside, there's, there are some markings on this. So this is after two years of a lot of wear. They're starting to look worn. But I believe these are $12, which is totally worth it. I actually would like to go get a new pair of both of them. So these are the silver ones. And you can see they're starting to... I hope, I, I'm not sure. They, they are starting to look a little bit worn there and the silver coming off and you can see whatever sort of metal it is they actually made these out of copper maybe i'm not sure um but anyway i still like these i wear them all the time um i pro like i said i really need a new pair because the, the particularly the gold ones are starting to look a little bit from a distance these one, the silver ones still look fine but anyway so those are my throwback thursdays back to may of 2014 hopefully i get the title right this time because i had it all messed up in april um and i think i've told you most of what's on my face with the exception of um on the rest of my eyes i have like i said i have that high shine and meteorite all over my lid i have a little um cl cargo columbia on the outer corner and then i'm just wearing a little quarry from mac in the crease and a little blanc type for blush, I have Cargo and Tonga. I'm telling you guys, this is the one I'm trying to hit pan on, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. And the Clio highlight, of course, in, not of course, I say of course because I wear it every day, in the Art, line, Art Highlighter in Pearl White. 
And then, as I said, I have the Estee Lauder Tumultuous Pink on my lips. I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.